Hi, my name is Simeo Gaston. I am a staff scientist in the Social and Environmental Determinants of Health Equity Group at the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences. Today, I'll be discussing gender disparities in relationships between financial hardship and sleep disturbances among U.S. adults during the COVID-19 pandemic. At the beginning of the pandemic, the, there were widespread shutdowns, which resulted in major changes to lifestyles, including massive job loss. As a result, many U.S. households reported experiencing financial strain or hardship, um, such as being unable to pay mortgages and rent, and also being unable to pay for other essential items like food. Previous studies have linked financial hardship to sleep health um, likely through pathways such as stress response systems, which contribute to arousal, as well as other pathways uh, such as through hunger, which makes it difficult to engage in uninterrupted and restorative sleep. Despite prior research linking financial hardship to sleep, few studies have investigated gender differences in the relationship between financial hardship and sleep. However, it is important to investigate these possible differences because prior to the pandemic, women were more financially vulnerable than men on average, and they also displayed poor sleep quality, such as more difficulty falling and staying asleep compared to men. So our study objective was to investigate associations between financial hardship and sleep disturbances by gender among U.S. adults. In order to meet this objective, we leverage data from the nationally representative COVID-19's Unequal Racial Burden Survey. Um, this was among a population of 5,500 American Indian, Alaska Native, Asian, Black and African American, Hispanic and Latino, multiracial, Native Hawaiian, Pacific Islander, and non-Hispanic white adults who were aged 18 years and older. In this cross-sectional study from December of 2020 to February of 2021, participants reported financial hardship since the pandemic began. And we categorized heart financial hardship as any compared to none, as well as an ordinal measure of substantial, some, or little hardship compared to none. Participants also reported their sleep disturbances through the four item patient reported outcomes management information system or PROMISE sleep disturbance short form. Adjusting for potential confounders, including sociodemographic, health behavior, and health characteristics, we performed weighted linear regression in order to estimate associations between financial hardship and sleep disturbances by gender. On the top right of the poster, you will see the prevalence of financial hardship categories by gender. 68% of men reported financial hardship, while 74% of women reported any financial hardship. So women were more likely than men to report financial hardship. In the next figure below, you see the sleep disturbances by gender, and women also reported more severe sleep disturbances compared to men. Below that figure, these are the relationships between financial hardship and sleep disturbances by gender. So for most categories of financial hardship, the relationship of hardship with higher or more severe sleep disturbances was comparable between men and women. However, it was different for little financial hardship. While there was no relationship between experiencing little financial hardship and sleep disturbances among men, women who experienced little hardship had more severe sleep disturbances compared to women who reported no financial hardship since the pandemic began. So these results really indicate that financial hardship during the COVID-19 pandemic may have differentially impacted sleep health across gender groups in the United States. Tailored interventions may be especially beneficial among women who were disproportionately burdened by financial hardship. I thank you for listening to this presentation and please uh, feel free to contact me if you have any questions about this work. Thank you.